second uh, breakdown technique, which was work from the clinch. Um, double underhooks, right, with the basic grip. Because the uh, MMA glove is so thick, it's hard to get S grips or gable grips. So he does like a basic uh, back grip, and then he does an inside leg trip, right? So he comes in one, two. So when you're in this position, of course I can do S grip, I can do basic grip, I can do gable, all right? What I want to do is as I'm forcing my opponent this way, I want to do the inside leg trip here. And so I'm going to drive all the way to my left as I turn and I trip. And of course land into the close guard. So again, one way you can work the, the pummel, you know, the double under, is from the pummel. Okay, start working it this way. I could also use my head behind his chin and stay very low, right? I could also step through just like we do in judo start working that grip there, okay? And I'm gonna go, imagine an arrow pointing that way. So as I drive my shoulder, I start taking this, and I land right inside the close guard. Of course, from here, two underneath the armpit, start coming up, posturing, ready to break the guard open, okay? So one more time. So we're working from the inside clinch, okay? I have my double unders. If you feel the person is throwing punch punches, there's several things you could do. You could grab the bicep, wrist control. I could also drop this to the hip. So as he throws punches, I'm already coming here. It's very hard for him to throw off balance. And then lastly, hooking the leg as I do all three, okay? So simple double underhook with an inside leg trip, working from the clinch. You guys can work from a pummel. You guys can work from a, a basic clinch. You guys can throw like small strikes just to mimic the movement. All right, but focus on understanding where your body is positioned in order for you to get that angle, okay? If for whatever reason, my opponent doesn't let me hook and steps back, I can start working this angle too, right? Um, if we're in this position for too long, I can also drop to a single, right? So there's a lot of things we could do from this position. Of course, he can throw a wizard. Yeah, so I have to respect that wizard and kind of find other options where I could pummel my head back and work a double leg, work my way back to single leg, start feeding it to the outside, start working the different angles, all from this movement, or from this control. Okay, as always, throw in this direction so we don't crash into each other. After this, we'll go to the ground, guys, okay? One, two, three.